Radio, broadcasting your audio to the world. The equivalent of a radio station on the internet is webcasting and podcasting. What's the difference? Webcasting is basically streaming a live audio program over the internet to the general public, like a radio broadcast or a seminar. Podcasting, on the other hand, is distributing a pre-recorded audio program to listeners or subscribers. If you want to webcast, you can either invest in a piece of streaming media server hardware and high-priced internet pipelines, or subscribe to some websites that will let you stream your real-time program to the public. Bright Talk, Shoutcast, Stick'em, Livestream, or Ustream are some of the more popular services. Some of these streaming services are free, while others charge you for bandwidth. While these websites make it possible to webcast affordably, most people who are new to the social media world will want to start with pre-recorded podcasts until they have built up a large audience who is willing to tune in on a regular basis. Podcasting is simply recording some audio, which might just be you reading your latest blog entry, and saving it in a compressed format like MP3, AAC, or Agwabis then distributing it over the internet for playback on someone's computer, smartphone, or mobile device like the iPod or other portable audio players. There are places on the web like iTunes where you can store your audio files and serve them up to people when they become available. These services use an XML-based technology called Really Simple Syndication. When people subscribe to your RSS feed, they are immediately notified when you upload a new audio recording. In fact, some podcatching programs, like iTunes, will automatically download the recording to your computer and upload it to your portable audio device. To record your audio, you'll need to invest in a microphone and a pair of headphones that can connect to your computer. Then you need some waveform editing software like Adobe Soundbooth, Sony SoundForge, or even the free Audacity program from SourceForge.net. You'll need this software to clean up and level your audio tracks, add musical themes and sound effects, and export them into compressed audio formats. Next, you'll need to tell the world about your new recordings via your blog and RSS feeds. In a few clicks, people will be able to listen to what you have to say.